You know, a lot of times teachers talk about hands on learning, but a program in Nassau County taking this to a whole different level. Yeah, hands, <laughs> wings, perhaps. First yeah. Coast News, Katie Jeffries tells us about a program where the sky is truly the limit. I'm really proud of all of them. It's a beautiful day. At Fernandina Beach Airport. Light wind, high clouds. Really nice weather day, you can see forever. The perfect classroom. If we're just doing a local flight, we set it up for takeoff trim. And this class is taking learning to new heights. We're the model for this program, so it's exciting and scary all at the same time. So for the simulators, we're going to be doing the left-hand traffic pattern, the runway. Flight instructor Kaoki Gray teaches aerospace technologies at Fernandina Beach High School. All of the turns in the traffic pattern will be to the left. Last year, a family, Cray and Annie Ellis, saw a news report about Gray's uh, class. In higher performance airplanes, power reduction first. And did something very unexpected. Don't need to see her. It's amazing. To their knowledge, that makes Nassau County the only public school system in the state to own a Power plane. Settings. The airplane will kind of take care of you. And while Junior Colby Kidd is excited to have his driver's license, we're going to be doing something similar on the base leg. There's a different license he's had his eye on. I was telling them, you know, I was getting my pilot's license this year with uh, my high school. Everybody was just like, what? That's a thing? That's insane. The students spend the first two years on the ground. And when you get through here, that airplane may suddenly come on the frequency. Flying model rockets, learning about engineering, and flying on simulators. And you're going to carry that all the way down until you start to flare to land. Then, in their third year, they take to the skies with Gray at their side. Same deal coming up here, making sure that the fuselage is all in good shape. Lily Johnson actually already has her pilot's license. You'll still need quite a bit of right rudder as we're climbing out. She goes to West Nassau High School. We don't have to worry about overheating. Lily got her pilot's license through an ROTC program over the summer. Wow. She says she was actually a little afraid of flying before she did it. But we know once you get up there, it's not that bad. You just get used to it. Foot there, hold here, step right on the floor, and you're good to go. Of course, safety is top of mind. There's pre-flight checks. You have a checklist right there. And rechecks. So we check the fuel quantity. Everything under the watchful eye of Greg. Where's the traffic Cherokee 17 Mike Cup, short final 09. He says he enjoys seeing students develop this love of flying and also a self-confidence booster for those students because they are the ones at the controls. The road to get to this point is like a long runway, classes and studying, but in this moment, it's worth it. Just go for it, you know, even if you're, you know, you don't think you're the best at it, you might as well just try and try and get it because it's really fun to fly. A classroom where the sky is truly the limit. Katie Jeffries with Chief Photographer Nick Marone. First Coast News on your side.